Hello everyone and my name is Vidhuti and I am from ECB section and my topic for digital signal processing tech talk is about entomological radar overview and the system and signal processing. So let's begin with the introduction. Entomological or radar is a type of radar which is spe specifically designed to detect and track insects movement. It operates uh, in the microwave range and uses high frequency electromagnetic waves to detect and track the movements of insects in flight. The entomological radar system consists of three major components, the radar antenna, the radar transmitter and the radar receiver. The radar antenna emits a high frequency electromagnetic wave that travels through the air and interacts with any objects in its path including insects. And the radar receiver detects the reflected waves and measures their time delay and frequency shift to determine the location and velocity of the insect. <laughs> so this is specifically designed to detect and track the movements of insects in flight and it operates in microwave frequency range ranging from and the major principle used in this uh, is a Doppler filtering which is used to separate the insects echoes from other background clutter such as trees or buildings by identifying the Doppler frequency shift caused by the insect's movement. Range gating is used to separate the echoes from different distances allowing for the measurement of the insect's range and altitude. Time frequency analysis is used to analyze the radar signals over time and frequency to identify patterns in the insect's flight behavior such as changes in speed or direction. So this is the major principle used in this entomological radar. And the time and frequency analysis is used to analyze the radar signals over time and frequency to identify the patterns. And this is the beam coverage of low elevation towards the left side and the beam coverage of, of high elevation towards the right side. Entomological radar. And this is the height H max 1 and minimum height considered and the angle alpha 1 for the low elevation and alpha 2 for the high elevation. Now coming to the advantages of entomological radar are non-invasive measurement, high accuracy and large scale monitoring and finally continuous monitoring. In non-invasive measurement, entomological radar provides a non-invasive method for studying insect behavior and movement. Unlike traditional methods such as trapping or tagging, the radar can track insects without physically disturbing them, allowing for more natural behavior to be observed. Entomological radar can provide highly accurate measurements of insect movement including speed, direction and altitude. This allows for detailed analysis of insect behavior and migration patterns. And coming to the large scale monitoring, entomological radar can be used to monitor, monitor insect population over large areas, providing valuable data on the spatial distribution and abundance of insect populations. And radar can operate continuously providing a continuous stream of data on insect behavior and movement. This allows for a more detailed analysis of insect behavior over time. And now coming to the disadvantages. There are several disadvantages of this radar uh, including cost, complexity, limited information, sensitivity to weather conditions and limited range. These radar systems can be expensive to purchase, install and maintain making them inaccessible to some researchers or organizations and these radar system can be complex to operate and require specialized knowledge in radar technology and signal processing. While radar can provide valuable information on insect movement and behavior, it is limited in the information it can provide and the sensitivity to weather conditions. These radar systems can be sensitive to adverse weather conditions such as rain or fog which can interfere with the radar signals and affect the accuracy of measurement. And these radar systems also have limited range, uh, meaning that these typically have a, a restrict the area of coverage and limit the ability to track long distance migrations. So we can say that these are the major disadvantages of entomolog entomological radar systems. Cost, complexity, limited information and their sensitivity to weather conditions. And finally limited range. Now coming to the importance of signals in this radar, signal processing techniques used in entomological radar include filtering, detection and tracking algorithms. 
filtering techniques such as Fourier transforms or wavelet transforms are used to remove unwanted noise and further enhance the radar signals and detection algorithms such as pulse compression or coherent, or coherent integration are used to identify the echoes from insects in the radar data. Finally, tracking algorithms are used to estimate the insect's trajectory and provide information on its movement over time. And the signal processing is also important in developing more sophisticated intermological radar systems such as those used in multiple radars or different radar frequencies to improve the accuracy and resolution of the measurements. And these systems require advanced signal processing techniques to integrate the data from multiple radar sources and extract useful information from the complex radar signals. Overall, we can say that signal processing plays a crucial role in entomological radar by enabling us to extract valuable information from the radar data and develop more advanced radar systems for studying insect behavior and movement. So, the major techniques used in this are Fourier transform or wavelet transform <clears throat> to remove the unwanted noise or Gaussian noise and enhance the radar signals. And the algorithm used in this are coherent integration and to identify the echoes from the insects in the radar data. Finally, tracking algorithms are used to estimate the trajectory of the insects to provide their movement over time. So these are the major uh, importance of signal processing in this radar system. Now coming to the conclusion, overall entomological radar with a focus on system and signal processing has many advantages for studying the insect behavior and movement. It also provides a non-invasive, highly accurate, large-scale and continuous method for monitoring insect populations and behavior which can lead to improved insect control and management strategies. So this is about the entomological radar system and their importance in the field of signals and processing techniques. Hope you all understood. Thank you.